Hey guys, this is a Spiral Review for Spiral 2. To begin with, we're going to take a look at solving equations and inequalities. My first problem, I notice that I have uh, something with distribution on the left and an x on both sides. I'm going to begin with that distribution. 4 times x is 4x. 4 times negative 5 is negative 20. That's equal to 8x plus 13. I'd like to get both x's on the same side. Uh, in order to keep it positive, I'm going to subtract 4x from both sides. Although it would have been fine to do 8x as well. On the left side, that cancels out. On the right side, that leaves us with 4x plus 13 is equal to negative 20. To get rid of the 13, I'm going to subtract 13 from both sides. Negative 33 is equal to 4x which means that x is equal to negative 33 over 4. For my second one, I've got x on both sides again. Uh, I'm probably going to get rid of the smaller x to keep the positive, so minus 6x, minus 6x, and I end up with negative 5 is less than 12x minus 6x is 6x plus 3. I'm going to subtract 3 from both sides, and I get negative 8 is less than 6x. Divide both sides by 6. Negative 4 over 3, if I reduce that, is less than 6x. I'm sorry, it's less than x. There's my 6. I could also rewrite this as x is greater than negative 4 over 3. Okay, so I make a number line. I'm going to put negative 4. 4 over 3 on there. Because it's less than and not equal to, it's going to be an open circle. And if x is greater than it, it's going to go to the right. Next up, I've got to find the slope between a couple points, between 5, comma 16 and 6, comma negative 4. Okay, I've got to see how much the y's are changing. So to get from 16 to negative 4, I'm going down 20. I'm going to divide that by how much the x's are changing. To get from 5 to 6, I'm going up 1. So negative 20 is my slope. If you prefer using the slope formula, y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So we've got negative 4 minus 16 over 6 minus 5 which is negative 20. And finally, we have a problem that we have to find a value of k to make this true. Uh, for this one, I will use the slope formula. So there's my x1, y1, x2, y2. So I'm going to do k minus 3. And on the bottom, I'm going to have negative 5 minus 6. And the goal of this is to make a slope equal to negative 4 thirds. Okay, I'm going to simplify my denominator. So we've got k minus 3 over negative 11 is equal to negative 4 over 3. I'm going to multiply both sides by negative 11. That cancels out the left side, so I've got k minus 3 is equal to negative 4 times negative 11 is 44, and we know that's 11 over 1. 3 times 1 is 3. All right, last thing I need to do is get rid of that minus 3 to get the k by itself. So I'm going to add it to both sides. 44 over 3 plus 3 to get those in the same denominator. 44 over 3. I'm going to change 3 to 9 thirds, and I get 53 over 3 is my final answer. I'm going to blame Mr. Butterworth for that answer.